All right, to complete our function operations, we are going to do compositions. This one's a little bit more difficult, so pay closer attention and fill out your notes in detail. There's going to be lots and lots of information and lots of examples. All right, so this is what it's going to look like. So this is an open circle. It is not your closed. If it's closed circle, then it is being multiplied. So this is f of g of x. And we can write it both ways with our little open circle, or we can write it f bracket or parentheses g of x like this. So this is going to be like we are inserting a number in for x on our f of, f of x, except for instead of a number, we're going to be inserting a whole equation. So here's our general rule. Given that two functions are f and g, remember we can name them anything, the composition of f of g is defined by this. f of g equals g, I mean f of g, where g is our input. Or like I said, g is like if we are given f of x, where x equals 2. This is where what our 2 would be, our input. So then the reverse is opposite. So the composition of g of f is defined by our g of f and then our g on the outside with our f of x being the input. Okay, our order matters. Order matters. Always compose right to left. So our left function is our outer function, and our right function is our inner function. So that's going to be our input going to our output. So f of g is f of g of x, where our inner function is g because it's to the right. And f would be the outer function because it's on the left. Okay, here's going to be our steps. Write down our outer function. Plug in your inner function. Simplify and evaluate if necessary. Okay, the best way to look at this is looking at our examples. So f of x equals 3x minus 1. g of x equals negative x plus 5. Find f of g. Okay, order matters. What's on the outside, what's on the inside. Outer function is f, inner function is g. So let's write down our outer function. f of x equals 3x minus 2. Now, where we see an x, we are going to place the whole g of x equation. So then this becomes 3 times the whole g of x equation of negative x plus 5. And then don't forget your minus 1 outside because that's part of our f of x. All right, now we can simplify. And remember to distribute my 3. So that becomes negative 3x. 3 times 5 is plus 15. And then my minus 1. Now I can combine like terms. So we've got negative 3x plus 14. It doesn't ask us to evaluate, so we don't have a step four. Let's do the reverse. So again, order matters. So our outer function is g this time. Inner function is f. So write down your outer function. g of x equals negative x plus 5. Now wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in the whole whole equation for f of x. So we've got negative 3x minus 1 plus 5. Oh, there's your, your uh, steps. So remember to distribute your negative sign. So we got negative 3x plus or 1 because a negative times negative equals a positive plus 5. Now I can simplify by combining like terms. All 
right. Uh, one more example here. There's our stuff. So we've got, here's our f of x and g of x. On the outside is g of x. So we're going to write down our outer function of negative x plus 4. Wherever I see that x, I'm going to plug in the whole f of x. So we've got negative of 8x plus 1 plus 4. Distribute my negative sign. Okay. Combine like terms. Now it does ask us to evaluate if x is 0. So now I can plug in my 0 where x is, and we get 3. All right. If you think you got a handle on this, then go ahead and move on. You can finish the example problems on your notes, or you can move on to the practice. If you still need help and you want me to walk you through some more examples, then tune into the next video.